Hi guys, Ryan here. So, welcome to my manga collection video for the year of 2023. So yeah, I was looking back, and it's been seven months since my last manga collection video, collection tour, so I thought I would make a new one for the new year. Since it's February now, and my manga collection has changed, so I thought I'd make a video for you guys. And um, yeah, to give a little bit of a backstory on my manga collecting journey, um, I started collecting manga when I was like a young kid, but I started like making videos about it in 2017 with different manga hauls and stuff, and it's been a fun journey for sure. And um, yeah, I get my manga mainly off Rice Stuff Anime during their like sales, like holiday sales. That's a great time to get manga for a great price. And um, Amazon's a great place. Barnes and Noble. There's like a local place for me called Entertain Mart, which is great. So, um, yeah, I'm wearing my Slam Dunk hoodie, which I received in the mail today. And, um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. It says Slam Dunk on the back and whatnot. But anyways, let's get right into the manga collection video. All right, so we're going to start off with my second favorite manga series of all time. And that is Haikyuu. There is 45 volumes in total for it. And I have every single volume. Which was great to collect. Um, I think if I remember correctly. It was kind of like. You know a lot of manga was out of print. And whatnot. But I finally finished collecting this. And I need to read the majority of it. I've read. Um, close to half. Of the volumes. I'm on volume 22 right now in the manga. And. There's anime for this. It's very entertaining. I would highly recommend either checking out the anime or reading the manga or both. Before I got into Haikyuu, I really wasn't into volleyball as a sport. But when I got into it, I realized how cool of a sport volleyball actually is. So that was cool, having a change of heart for that. And I love how it has different characters on every single side of the volume. I think that's neat. All the different players and different characters from Haikyuu. I love the art style, it's very nice. And um, yeah, I can't wait to read it all. They're gonna make two more movies and there's a lot more content for them to um, animate, basically. But Haikyuu is really great on character development. Hinata really goes for his dreams here. He's a hard worker. So yeah, I actually have a figure of Hinata, the main character from Haikyuu. He's holding a volleyball in his hands. It's a very cool figure. I wish they would have made more of the other characters on Kurosano and just like other players in the whole series of Haikyuu. Because there's only one Figma figure and it's just Hinata. I am happy to have Hinata though. This comes with a volleyball net with when you buy him. So that was pretty cool. Anyways, that's the very top part of the shelf. I use my second favorite manga series next to One Piece. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to read the rest of it, watch the anime movies when they come out, and, you know, go from there. So, yeah, I'm going to move the camera down, and then we're going to look at the next shelf. All right, so moving down onto the next part of the shelf, we have Slam Dunk, volumes 1 through 7. So I just picked this up. I'm reading volume 2. I'm absolutely loving it. I love the art style. It's made by one person, um, which... His name is Takahiko Inoue, and um, he's done real Vagabond, other manga series, and real is like a wheelchair basketball series, so that's pretty neat. Um, so I'll definitely have to check out real after Slam Dunk. But yeah, I have like a miniature basketball here, and then just a regular basketball. I thought I would put that there, because it's all about basketball and whatnot. So, yeah, I love the main character, um, and I, I'm really liking all the different characters in this. Like, the main character is Crush, the captain, um, yeah, I don't know, like, all the names by memory right now, because I just started it, but, um, yeah, the art style is amazing. Let's look at volume four. So there it is. I love this cover. I think this is one of my favorite covers ever. 
and I think this is my favorite cover from all these volumes that I have, one through seven. That's this is my favorite one. Anyways, we have some artwork here, which is very nice. The series is comedic, has great art, likable characters. So yeah, that's really cool. And um yeah. I also want to show the art real quick for Haiku since I didn't do it before. Um, so there it is. Looks fantastic. The speed of like the volleyball and the matches is really nice. So yes, that is all the sports manga that I own. I used to have Croker's Basketball. Um, but there's other series like Yamushi Pedal, which is like about bicycling and that sport. Um, one thing I have to say though is sports is so awesome in manga and anime. It's so entertaining. I love it. Anyways, that's all of Slam Dunk that I have so far. There's 31 volumes to collect. Some volumes are out of print and really expensive, so I hope I am able to get them without paying too much over the normal price, but we'll see. All right, so moving down here, we have all the Viz Bigs for Dragon Ball Z, and then I have the first three Viz Bigs for just Dragon Ball, which started the series. So yeah, I hope more manga gets made in Viz Bigs because they're fantastic. They look really nice on the shelf all together. And it's great reading manga, like, larger, in a larger format, basically. And, yeah, we have Vegeta, Goku, Gohan, Piccolo. So, yeah, I collected, like, Dragon Ball Z figures as a kid. I still have them, but these are a massive improvement, for sure, without a doubt. And uh, my favorite saga in DBZ would definitely have to be the Cell Saga. Like, Cell is such a great villain because he knows these heroes, he knows that all his friends, all the allies, he knows their powers. He's just like a really crazy and menacing villain, for sure. I absolutely love Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z and everything Dragon Ball related, like Dragon Ball Super. The new movie is amazing, I loved it so much. And I got these figures at my local Comic-Con, but you can get them on Amazon or other websites like BigBadToyStore.com. And, um, yeah, I can't wait to get the last two Viz Bigs for Dragon Ball. And then I'll have all that completed. And then hopefully, by the time um, Dragon Ball Super ends in the manga, we'll get some Viz Bigs for that later on. That would be awesome, because then we would have all of them in Visibigs, and that would just look really nice on the shelf, and it would just be great for Dragon Ball fans. But, yeah, Dragon Ball is a classic, and um, I've been into it, and it got me into manga and anime, and that whole world of awesomeness, so yeah. Alright, so moving to the right here, we have my hardcover Full Metal Alchemist Full Metal Editions. They look really nice next to the Visbigs. I love FMA. The world feels like it could, it could actually be like a real place. The powers of alchemy are so cool. There's so many great characters and great villains, and it's just an awesome story from start to finish. We have all the Full Metal Editions for FMA. I just need to get the rest of them, basically. I love the characters Ed, Al, Roy Mustang, with his flame alchemy, which is really cool. It's comedic, and um, yeah, it's just like comedic, has heart, has action, great story, it's just amazing. And then, the last volume here, we got the very first large volume of Akira. My, my best friend Paul gave that to me, so that was really nice. And um, yeah, there's like a manga box that you can get for it, if you're interested in checking out Akira. It's a really nice manga box set from what I could tell. And there's a movie for this, a full manga series, which had like six of these volumes, I think, six to 12. I can't remember exactly, but um, yeah. And uh, I forgot to show some artwork. So we're gonna, we're gonna look at some of the artwork here for Dragon Ball Z. There is Videl. 
And um, yeah, Akira Toriyama, his art style is phenomenal. I've read um, all of Dragon Ball Z and I want to read Dragon Ball Super and everything for it, basically. And yeah, let's go look at some of the art. Let's see, which volume should we do? Um, I'll do nine. And um, yeah, so when you open it up, you get some color pages, which is really nice. The art style is great. This mangaka also does, the creator also does Silver Spoon, which is a farm life school manga and anime, which I thoroughly enjoy. So yeah. And then we're going to look at Akira here while we're at it. So yeah, very nice. All right, so there is another shelf below this, and I'm gonna show that next. All right, so next up on the shelf below, we have Noragami volumes one to 24, need volume 22, and yeah, I love Noragami. It's so funny. I love the artwork. I love the fill, the matte filling to the covers. And yeah, I love the main character, Yato, Hiyori, Yukine. They're awesome, and yeah, I hope we get another season for the anime, because this series rocks. I love the anime, I love the manga, it's just fantastic. And they're releasing omnibus versions of this series. Alright, and then next we have is the majority of the action figures that I own that are villains. So we have Broly, Frieza, Majin Buu. Crocodile, and Rob. I also have Perona that I need to add to this area, but I thought that was kind of fun, just having them all together like that, like the villains would team up against the heroes or something like that. So yeah, that is it for this shelf. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so I have the very first 20 volumes of My Hero Academia on this shelf. And yeah, I have the manga box set, and there's definitely gonna be more probably 20 volumes at a time and yeah let's look at some of the art so we have great villains great heroes it's a fantastic series I would highly recommend it there is three movies that you can watch for my hero I think the third one is the best out of the bunch and this is like the mangaka's second shot at a superhero manga. And I'm really glad that he got that second shot because it's amazing. And it's really popular and for a reason. And I love how like how hardworking Deku, the main character, is. At first he doesn't have a quirk. It's like a world of superpowers and they call them quirks. And he obtains one over time from All Might which is like his, um, like he looks up to All Might, it's like his idol, and yeah, um, I think My Hero Academia will be ending sometime in the near future, I don't know when exactly, but yeah, it'll be nice to own everything for My Hero, it's a such a fun series, there's a really diverse big cast that you can see from like all the characters here, and yeah. I would highly recommend it. If you love superheroes and you love anime and manga, definitely give it a try. Alright, so next up we have here is my Bleach manga collection. So I have the very first manga box set. I love Bleach, I love the art style, the action. Um, the Soul Society arc is fantastic. We're getting a um, we're getting new episodes for Bleach, which is like the Thousand Blood Year War arc. So that's fantastic. And I have Ichigo here, the main character. There's going to be an SH figure arts figure, which you can pick up for Ichigo. Um, later on this year, I, I would imagine that they release it. And I hope you get more characters in that line of figures, like Rukia, Renji, to name a few. Toshiro, those are some of my favorite characters. 
I love how like the swords have powers known as like Bunkai. Like that's like the second power up of the swords basically. And yeah, I have Burn the Witch Volume 1, which came with like color pages and stuff, so that was nice. And I have the first 21 volumes. And there is two more manga box sets that I want to get for it. And yeah, let's look at some of the art now. There's Kenpachi. He's a really great fighter. The action is so cool. There's Renji vs. Ichigo. Awesome stuff. One of the best art styles out there, in my opinion. Alright, and then we have the last manga I'm going to talk about today, and that is One Piece. My favorite manga, ever. So we have the four manga box that's there, with Luffy on the side. We have Ace's Side Story, which looks very nice. Alright, and then moving down, we have is One Piece Volumes 1 to like 40. And my favorite arcs so far have been Water 7 slash NA's Lobby, but that could change because One Piece is very consistent. Um, it's long, but it's great if you're a fan because there's so much of it to enjoy. And there's so much that happens in a little in One Piece. I think it has great pacing. It has like foreshadowing, backstories that flesh out the characters, a really cool world. Um, I absolutely love it. So yeah, moving down here, um, I would have to say Luffy is my favorite character in any series. He's a great protagonist, without a doubt. So yeah, I have Luffy there, Ace right there, Perona, that's where I put her. Okay, good to know. And then I have Nami over there. And then moving down here, we have some of my Shonen Jump magazines which one of them is signed by the voice actor of Goku. So that's really cool, owning that. And yeah, I have volumes 1 through 101 of One Piece. So that's awesome. Can't wait to get through like the, the arcs that I'm currently reading. Can't wait to get to Wano. I finished Dress Rosa, which was very epic. Doflamingo was an, a uh, menacing villain for sure. And I love the art books, the compendiums that are hardcover that you can buy because I, I adore the art style for One Piece. And yeah, it's just like, it's an amazing series. I, I love it so much. I adore One Piece. And yeah, so I'll have to add it up how many manga volumes I have, but it's changed throughout the years of like different series that I've owned, basically. So yeah. And yeah, that was my manga collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, peace out.